Hello friends and welcome back to another video. My name is Kimberly and I'm a second year medical student studying in the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine under NTU Singapore. So in today's video, I'll be talking about tips for medical school interviews from a medical student. First, a disclaimer. These opinions are mine and based on my experience and my experience only. Discrepancies across medical schools and across different years are to be expected. I am not responsible for the outcomes of your interviews, although I wish you guys all the best anyways. So I'll be doing tips on both MMIs and panel interviews today. I will briefly go over the format of each interview first before jumping into the tips for each of them. Let's go! Firstly, MMIs or multi-mini interviews. These are station interviews with different scenarios that test different skills. So sometimes they are like role-playing stations, sometimes they are just normal interview stations, like a mini panel interview. So before you go into each station, the professors or the facilitators will give you a short briefing as to what the scenario is so that you have a little bit of time, like maybe one minute or so, to kind of prepare yourself mentally as to how to deal with this scenario. So this one is basically um, a really basic interview kind of setup that you would expect in like a job interview or any other university course. So it will be multiple professors sitting down with one student and they would just take turns asking you questions while the other person writes down. So the general format is that they tend to start off with introduction questions asking you to introduce yourself. Then they'll move on to more general questions with regards to medicine. So things like why medicine, why this school, why not another course like nursing or allied health and this is generally to get a gist of your personality as well as your motives for joining medicine and then they will move on to questions about your portfolio so they might ask you about the experiences that you've had when you were in high school when you were in junior college or poly lastly most schools tend to end off with an ethical question to see what kind of values you have in terms of being a doctor and treating your patient so now let's get on into the tips for each type of interview firstly will be the mmi so tip number one for the mmis would be to show empathy but don't force it. I think that some people might have the misconception or they are unsure about how to empathize with people. So they tend to say really scripted empathy phrases like, I'm so sorry to hear about that. And I don't know if it's just me, but I personally don't say that in my day-to-day -day life. So I hate saying that in this kind of interviews and I cringe so hard whenever I hear people say that. So you don't have to really force empathy, just treat the patient or treat the scenario like someone you actually care about in your own circle of life. Maybe the scenario is about terminal illness or about death and I would try to comfort them and express my concern for their condition just like how I would talk to my grandparents. So in simple words, um, using soft tone of voice to try to convey my sincerity towards them. So my second tip I like to call fake it till you make it. But in simple words, confidence is key. Straighten that back, tilt your head up and just smile. Even if you're dying on the inside, if you put on a smile, no one will know. My last tip would be not to overthink the scenario. Usually, the examiners are just trying to see what your personality is like and what values you hold dear. So if you are a compassionate person by nature or you are a sincere person by nature, just go with that. If you are a gentle personality, just go with that. Don't try to force something that you're not. So my fourth tip is that you don't actually need to have any prior medical school knowledge before going for medical school interview. So they won't really test you on wh what is the what is the powerhouse of the cell or any factual information. They just want to see kind of what ethical values you hold and what personality you are and whether or not you would be a good fit for the school and whether you're a good fit for the profession. So moving on to tips for panel interviews, my first tip is to relax. I realised this only after my first panel interview as well. But the panelists actually want to just get to know you. They want to get to know you as a person. They want to assess whether or not you're a good fit for the school. So just be yourself and just chit chat with them. So the way I perceived it and the way I learned to deal with it was to treat the panelists like I'm talking to new friends that I'm making in university. 
that might be older than me, might be from a different course. So when I share information with them, it would be to the point, give them the details that is important to bring the idea, but not so much that I'm drowning them in the details of the scenario because they don't really need to know all that. They just want to know what you learned from different experiences. So my second tip, which is a big, big tip, is to reread your portfolio and to remember what you wrote there before going into the interview. Because unlike MMIs where maybe they will only reference your portfolio in one or two of the stations, the panel interview would have a huge chunk of it that is asking about your experiences from high school or junior college or poly. It would be really good if you could go and revise on those and try to recall what did you learn during that time? What was the experiences like? And in preparation for the interview, it would be good if you could write out and kind of, I don't want to say memorize, but at least prepare some sort of structured answer if they were to ask you for what did you learn from this experience and you could use for example the STAR method which I'll be talking about later. So simply put, the STAR method stands for situation, task, action and result. In your paragraph, you will talk about one experience and you will start off with the situation. So just one or two lines to set the scene and give the necessary details for the example that you're trying to give them. Secondly, you would give a little bit more gist uh, under the task section, which is basically describing what your responsibility was in that situation. So whether or not, for example, you were the band leader or you were uh, uh, the head of research department or you were the captain of your volleyball team. And then you would move on to the action section, which should be the bulk of your paragraph. And in here, you would explain exactly what steps you took to address the problem at hand or to just in general describe the process that you went through in that project or that experience. And then lastly, you would share about the results so what outcomes did your actions achieve? Did you guys win an award for your efforts? Um, what learning points did you gain? What skills did you gain? And it's kind of a brief wrap up for that one example. By using these four components, it will be easy for you to shape your story when explaining it to the examiner. It will be much easier to share kind of a focused answer rather than rambling on with details. So it gives a digestible but kind of compelling narrative for what you've done in the past. So to end of this video, I would like to just say that if you've gotten to the interview stage of medical school, congratulations. This is basically the last hurdle you need to deal with. And despite what many might say about it being unpredictable and there's no point preparing for it, I'm just gonna wing it anyways. I think that's bullcrap. I think it's totally preparable. There's so many materials out there, so many question banks. I think there are so many sample interviews on like YouTube, question banks online that you can reference. And you can practice with your friends, with your teachers, with your seniors, with your parents, anyone who is willing to sit down with you for about 15 minutes to just ask you questions and hear your response or even record your responses. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe and like for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!